Okay, so if you understand basic algebra, well, this should be a very easy question. And the question is the following. Given the equation 3x plus 1 is equal to 4, is x equal to 2 thirds? Is this the correct solution? Well, there's actually two ways we can answer this question. Of course, I'll show you both of those ways in just one second. But first, I want to give you a full opportunity for you to figure this out. So if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section and better yet, justify your conclusions because the answer here is either going to be yes, this is correct or no, it's not. So try to at least tell me how you did this problem. Uh, now, I'll show you the right answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll show you both uh, techniques that you could use to verify or check to see if this is the right answer. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 3x plus 1 is equal to 4. Is x equal to 2 thirds? Is that the right answer to that equation? Well, the answer is no, it is not. Okay, now if you got this right, that is very good. Matter of fact, in my book, you earned yourself a nice little happy face and A plus and A 100% for being awesome at basic algebra. And this uh, kind of uh, question, right, is extremely important to understand because what we're trying to do is determine if a solution is actually the correct solution to an equation. All right, now if you don't really know what's going on, well, it's possible that you, uh, you haven't studied basic algebra or maybe you took algebra decades ago. I'll give you uh, some suggestions if you're interested in relearning uh, basic math and algebra. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this uh, um, problem here. So as I indicated, there are two ways to check whether in fact a uh, solution is the correct solution to an equation. Now, uh, really, uh, when you solve a problem in math or solve an equation, you know, unless you've been doing algebra for many, many years, well, you know, or unless you are like a math teacher, even a math teacher, you know, you can always make a mistake. So one thing that I want to uh, kind of um, really stress, especially for those of you out there that are math students that are in school, never, ever, ever turn in your test quizzes or exams early, especially if you have enough time to check your work, okay? Because we all make errors. It happens to the best of math students. So you can check your answer. So in other words, let's suppose you came up with this as your answer to solving this equation. How can we know whether in fact we did this right? Well, there are two ways we can uh, check to see if a solution is correct. Now, the first way is hopefully kind of obvious. First of all, we need to solve that equation or we can't solve that equation. And if we solved it perfectly correct, we can look at the answer and just compare it to this answer and be like, all right, is this the answer, you know, from my solution, the same as this, right? Now, of course, you have to have high confidence in your work, but that is one technique. And the second technique is you can verify a solution into an, equa into an equation. So I'll show you both techniques. So let's go ahead and first talk about how to solve this basic equation. All right, now in algebra, an equation like this, uh, would, uh, the basic uh, description for this would be called a linear equation or more specifically a one variable linear equation. And these are the, uh, uh, in a pre-algebra course or when you first start learning algebra, these are the type of equations you start to learn how to solve first. Now, as you progress in algebra, you start doing more interesting things like 3x squared plus 1 is equal to 4. This is an entire different, differently entirely different, excuse me, uh, type of an equation. Uh, but of course, that's for another uh, video, another topic. But you will learn this in algebra. But this uh, equation right here is a linear equation. And you need to know the basic steps to solve a, a uh, linear equation. Now, I'm not going to give you a full lesson on how to solve linear equations, but I will show you how to solve this uh, equation right here. And what we want to do is want to get all our variables to the left and all of our numbers to the right. And we need to use the golden rule of algebra. And that is whatever we do to one side of an equation, 
Uh, as long as we do that exact same thing to the other side, it is a-okay. So we have this one over here, okay? We wanna kinda of get this over to the other side because remember, I want variables, okay, or variable terms like 3x on the left, and I want all my numbers on the right, and I have this plus one over here, so let's get that over to this side of the equation, uh, the right-hand side of the equation, and the way we could do that is by subtracting one from both sides. So if I have 3x plus one and I subtract one from this plus one, that basically is going to make this one disappear on the left-hand side. But if I subtract one on this side of the equation, I gotta also do it on this side of an, uh, the equation. Again, I'm not trying to teach you how to solve equations uh, in this little video. So if you are struggling with basic algebra, I'll give you some suggestions on how you can master it in just one second. But what we need to do here is add down in a column manner. So 3x plus nothing is 3x. A positive one plus a negative one, or one minus one is zero. We don't need to write that zero. And then four minus one is three. Okay, so that's our first step. We have three x is equal to three. So the next step to solve this equation, uh, so again, when we're solving an equation, what we wanna do is get the x by itself, or one x. So we have three x, this means three times x. So how can I get x by itself? Easy, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation. Again, remember, in algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation, as long as you do it equally to the other side, you are a-okay. So three divided by three is what? One, okay, or one x, or just x. So when you see an x like this, there really is a one in front of it. So three divided by three is one, one x, or just x, and of course three divided by three is one. So the correct solution is one. Now how confident would you be in this basic equation if you're like, yes, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know how to solve this uh, equation. You know, you might feel like 99.9% .9 confident in your solution. So we go to take a look at the answer, x is equal to one. Well, is that, uh, you know, the same as this answer right here? X is equal to two thirds? No, this would not be correct. X is equal to one. You feel pretty good about that answer. So that's one way you could, you could check um, a solution to a particular equation, but really there is a more effective way and a way that you definitely need to understand, and that is to verify a solution into an equation. And the great thing about this is that, let's suppose you didn't even know how to uh, solve an equation, okay? But if you understood how to verify an equation, you can answer this question. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. But first, I'm going to show you this which is an invitation for you to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need your support. Now, what I'm trying to do is reach as many people as possible that can benefit from my math instruction. It does me no good to have studied all this math for decades and decades and decades. You know, I love teaching math, but what I want to do is really kind of make my classroom as big as possible and reach people out there that could benefit from my instruction. And the only way I could do that is to have your support. And the easiest way to support my channel and my work here is just hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, just go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest content. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how to verify a solution. This is very important because again, let's suppose you didn't know how to solve this equation. Well, if you can remember how to verify a solution into an equation, this is an excellent technique, especially if you are taking any sort of uh, test exam, uh, especially like a multiple choice exam. That's another topic, but let's go ahead and see how this works. Okay, so if x is equal to two thirds, if this is in fact the correct solution, well, what we can do is replace this x with two thirds, okay? So we'll plug in this two thirds, we'll replace this x with two thirds, and then we're going to see if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, because when you have an, uh, an equation in algebra, we're making a statement, we're saying that the value of the left-hand side is equal to the value of the right-hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and see uh, what happens when we plug in or replace this x with this potential solution, two thirds. Okay, so that's gonna be, three, uh, this uh, three x here is three times x. So what we have here is three times two thirds plus one is equal to four. Okay, so here's the equation. And if this is the correct solution, when I do all this math over here, 
it should be 4, okay, because this has to be 4 because the other side of the equation is 4. So let's just kind of go ahead and do this basic number crunching right here. So 3 times 2 thirds, we're multiplying fractions, right? So this is 3 over 1, so 3 times 2 thirds. We can cross cancel the 3s, so that is just 2. So we have here 2 plus 1. Is this equal to 4? Well, 2 plus 1, the last time I checked, is 3. Is 3 the same as 4? No, this is a false statement. So this number, this value that we plugged in, 2 thirds to replace this x, cannot be the solution. Now, by definition, the solution to an equation is the value such that when you plug it back in, it balances out the, equ uh, the equation, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense to you. Matter of fact, uh, we said that, remember, um, x is equal to 1. That is the correct solution. Let's just do this real quick just to kind of see how this works. And we'll check x is equal to 1 real quick. And you'll be like, oh, yes, this makes sense, Mr. YouTube Math Man. So I'll erase this. This is a little bit of a bonus here. Okay, so we're going to plug in 1, okay, for this x because we solved the equation. And we're saying, I'm going to check my answer just to make sure I did this right. Now, this is a real easy equation. And so some of you might be saying, well, yeah, I could see that this is going to be right. But in more complicated equations, the, same, the process uh, is the same. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, this is 3 times 1. And three, uh, 3 times 1, of course, is 3. So 3 plus 1, is this equal to 4? Well, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is equal to 4. This is true. So therefore, 1 is a good solution. All right. Now, for some of you out there, you might uh, have been away from basic math and basic algebra for a long time. Definitely don't feel bad. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of things that we learn in life that if we get away from for many, many years, we just kind of basically forget this stuff. But if you want to learn or if you have a need to uh, you know, learn basic algebra or basic mathematics. Let me give you a couple of quick suggestions. If you are a math student in any sort of basic um, algebra course, basic algebra is more or less pre-algebra. I'm going to leave a link to that course in the description of this video. Also, you'll find a link to my full algebra course as well. But if some of you out there are just saying, boy, you know what, I just kind of would like to learn math over again, just for your own personal satisfaction, or maybe you just have another reason to relearn math, check out my new course. It's called Math Skill Rebuilder. And in that course, I go over basic math like fractions, percent, place value. It's very, very important to understand arithmetic before you get into algebra. But after a few chapters of basic math, I teach you a ton of, a ton of algebra, ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics. This is a self-paced course. And by the time you finish that course, you will have a strong, uh, well-rounded math education that you can build upon if you choose to get into more advanced math. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.